Nonprofit dedicated to strengthening school safety came to Duluth today, meeting with first responders from all around the nation, updating them on best practices. Northern News Now's Kara Kopp was there hearing what they're teaching local first responders to help keep your kids safe. Inside the deck, first responders from around the area sat down together. The topic of conversation, school safety. It's really given us an opportunity to kind of refocus, kind of hit that reset and all get on the same page. When emergency calls are made to the schools, there is no time to waste for first responders, even in situations of false reports like the recent incident at Proctor High School. One month ago, there was reports of a student walking down the halls with a weapon. It was later found the student was just holding a piece of broken computer. It's not just for a shooting event. Um, it, it can actually be used for things as minor as a, a student uh, throwing up or a, what we an animal on the playground. No matter the hazard, police, fire, and EMS must have three things in common for the most proactive outcome, teaching, strategy, and language. The first time we have an incident, it's not the first time we want to meet everybody that's responding to that incident. That's where the I Love You Guys Foundation comes in. The name based on a final text to parents from a victim of a school shooting, bringing law enforcement through two different protocols. The first being standard response, which is practiced used in all different scenarios. Lockdown, secure, evacuate, shelter, and hold. And the standard unification method, a safe method to get all of our students back to their parents and guardians in a safe manner. Organizations and first responders working together, making sure they're prepared so they can keep the worst from happening. If we ever have to deal with a tragic event here, we'll be more prepared. In Duluth, Car Cop, Northern News Now. And if you're interested in learning more about the I Love You Guys Foundation and what they teach, you can visit our website.